All right, so today we're gonna take a little drive around New Braunfels. We're gonna hit up some of the main roads. We're gonna hit up some of the main attractions. There's a Schlitterbahn, Landa Park, uh, point out some of the restaurants, some of my favorites, um, and just give you a little bit of tour of the town that I love. Uh, if you're finding these videos helpful, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. Also hit that bell so you can be notified every time I put out a new video. And if you're thinking about moving to New Braunfels, my contact information is going to be in the description below. So make sure you call me, text me, shoot me an email, whatever you need to. I'll be able to help you out like I've helped others. So let's get started on this little uh, tour of New Braunfels. Follow along with me. Okay, so this is our little tour of New Braunfels, Texas. Currently we are on South Seguin Avenue, about the 1700 block. We're heading towards I-35. So I-35 runs more east and west through New Braunfels than it does north and south. So you'll hear say, somebody say like, oh, it's east of 35, well, it's technically south of 35. They say west, it's technically north, but it's kind of hard to wrap your brain around sometimes. Uh, so we're about to pass 1488 South Seguin Avenue over here on the left. That's the New Braunfels Police Department. That's where I worked and served as a police officer for nine years until 2018 when I decided to do uh, real estate full time. Again, here on the left is the Courtyard Plaza Shopping Center. So if we were to go right, you would go north. So we're at I-35 now. If you go right, you would go north to Austin. If you go south, you know, hang a left, uh, then you're gonna hit San Antonio. San Antonio, the north side of San Antonio is probably about 20 minutes away. Uh, downtown Austin with no traffic, you're probably looking at around 40 minutes or so. This intersection up here is the intersection of South Seguin Avenue and Business 35. Business 35 is also called Elliott Knox Boulevard um, and Business 40, no, not Business 46. Um, it's got another name to it. There's like three names for it. But it parallels I-35 through most of town and it goes north and south also. So a little bit about me, I moved to San Antonio in 1999 uh, for school, to go to school at UTSA. And then fast forward to 2009 is whenever I started working for the New Braunfels Police Department. And so I moved up here in, the, in late 2009 and I've been up here ever since. Uh, just love the town. Uh, I know the town very well. You know, other realtors might tell you the same, but I mean, I was, I was paid to drive around for you know 10 hours at a time sometimes 12 um, so yeah I know the town well know the streets traffic patterns stuff like that so we got blue bonnet dodge on the right that's actually one of the the biggest I mean it's not in size it doesn't look you know all that appealing but uh I mean, they do a lot of business selling a lot of trucks, like one of the biggest in the state. So around here approaching downtown, there's a lot of old historic homes that have turned into business offices and such. Some that are even for sale that could be restored. The New Braunfels Civic Center is over here on the left hand side. Now we're approaching downtown New Braunfels. On the left is the Faust Hotel. You got a couple of uh, like boutiques, the Oyster Bar, Bootlegger's Pizza up here on the right. Uh, you'll see some of that in an, another video I did for a downtown New Braunfels tour where I walked around. Right here on the right is Nagelin's Bakery. So it's the oldest operating bakery in the state of Texas. And this is our circle, a roundabout that uh, 
I don't know, some people have mastered and a lot of people have not. So do not take a right hand turn from the left lane here. Uh, it's not marked for that. So you would just, uh, you know, if you had to get in the inside, if you're gonna go uh, to the left or come back around, then you, know, you would slowly transition your way back out to the, to the outside lane. We're going to take a ride on East San Antonio Street. So that Seguin Avenue is kind of the dividing line for east and west on the, the streets that run that way. So this would be the, the 100 block of East San Antonio Street. And on the other side would be West San Antonio on the other side of the plaza. This is the East San Antonio Bridge, which uh, goes over the Kamau River. They just recently completed this project and widened it and made it a lot, lot nicer looking. Uh, before, during the summer, I would be chock full of tubers carrying their tubes on the sidewalks, and it was just uh, a, little, a little scary. And then over here on the right-hand side is Schlitterbahn. Let's take a look at that. So if you don't know, Schlitterbahn is one of the largest water parks and the number one water parks in the uh, in the nation. It's been operating for a very long time. Uh, family by the, the last name of Henry, um, they're the ones who started it many, many years ago. And then uh, I think last year, year before, um, it, it finally sold to a different company, but it had been family owned for, for a very long time. A lot of teenagers in Indy Braunfels grew up uh, this would be their first job working as lifeguards and such in Schlitterbahn. Um, it was a babysitter for some of the, the, you know, friends of mine that grew up here. During the summer, their parents would get them a season pass, drop them off in the mornings, and pick them up in the afternoon when they got off of work. This is just the Blastenhof area, so it's only, I don't even know if it's half of it. It's the last tubers exit where we just turned at. So when you're floating the Kamau River, uh, that's the last public exit right there. And now we're on uh, Lincoln Street. It's going to turn into Garden. And then there's another bridge that, that goes over the Kamau right here too. A lot of condos on the left-hand side, Inverness, Camp Warnicky, where you can uh, buy the condos and rent them out or live in them, whatever you want to do. There's an exit here as well, so if you want to take a shorter ride on the Kamau River, which really only runs about two hours, but if you need a shorter ride, you can get out right there at the Garden Street Bridge. So we're at Garden Street, and what we're crossing is Kamau Avenue. Some more older homes, some of them that have turned into businesses, and some of still uh, they're still just houses. South Seguin Avenue heading towards the roundabout again, towards Main Plaza. This time we're going to take a left on San Antonio Street. So this is how to use the roundabout. Notice I'm in the left lane because I'm going to end up going, you know, if this was just a regular intersection, I'm going to be taking a left. Clear traffic. Hop in the left lane. Past the right hand turn. Or I would have gone straight if it were a regular intersection. Transition to the outside lane and take a right. So here's more of the downtown area offices, restaurants, antique malls, boutiques, Seguin Beauty School. There's also a barbershop over here. Gelato, Brontex Theater, 
So if you go and watch the downtown tour of New Braunfels, you're going to see a lot of these shops that I talk about. Up here, the Poor House is a uh, bar that's uh, kind of inside and outside, a lot of outside seating. They got some fire pits. You can uh, throw some bean bags, play some cornhole. It's pretty cool. And uh, attached to it is the downtown social, and it's all indoors. Oh, to the left is Keller Williams. That's my office. So again, on West San Antonio Street, about the 600 block coming up. On the right-hand side is Granzine's Barbecue. Uh, great breakfast tacos. Those are my favorites. So if you go through there, get a Grand Zine. My, my favorites are the Grand Zine, the Roundup, and the Rodeo. On the left is St. Paul Lutheran Church, and then coming up over on the left is the McKenna Children's Museum. Uh, the McKenna Foundation you know, created it years ago. Um, they've got stuff for the kids to like touch and interact with. Uh, they've also got conference rooms and everything else. There was a catering service that was operating out of there a while back. I'm not sure if it's still there. All right, coming up is Walnut Avenue. For now, we'll just take a ride on Walnut Avenue. We're going to make our way back around, kind of through um, Landa Park which I've done a video on as well. And we'll go from there. So along Walnut Avenue, you know, they widened it years ago. Um, big sidewalks over here on the right side of it. Well, on both sides, little pocket parks with uh, benches. See a lot of people out here uh, throughout the day, you know, jogging, walking, exercising. Dos Rios, a uh, little Mexican bar, uh, bar and grill. We kind of like to go there, my wife and I, every now and then. And that's the Town Creek area. They're building some condos back there. They also have some office space, uh, CrossFit gym, um, Gaines Bakery, which uh, they do a lot of like uh, keto type recipes and stuff, a lot of uh, yeah, things like that. They're pretty good. So this is North Walnut Avenue, and we're about to cross Landa Street. The square is yellow when I entered that intersection. Left here at like 1099 North Walnut is a new restaurant called Texas Melts. It's in the place of where uh, Hannah's Tacos used to be. And I've, I'm hearing pretty good things about it. So a lot of like uh, just melty sandwiches. The areas to the right of me and to the left of me are kind of considered the hill. So you can see we just drove uphill a bit. Um, older neighborhoods with huge yards, established trees. 
So you're not looking for anything that's like brand new and you know, 10 other neighbors in your neighborhood are gonna have the same house. Uh, you know, the hill is a, a good option to look at, especially if you like larger lots and mature trees. Is that something you will not always find in these new new built subdivisions? All right, so we're going to turn on Ohio Avenue. some of the, uh, the large trees that I was talking about. There's a magnolia that's humongous. This is Canyon, Canyon Drive. are a little bit older but the soil over here tends to be a lot rockier than it is on the other side of 35 so you don't have to really worry about as much with uh, you know shifting foundations because the, the soil is so much more solid with all that rock in there a lot of limestone we're on Kentucky Avenue right now It's 3.30 in the afternoon right now, and it's just nice and shaded out here. Oh, there's a house for sale over here on the left if you're interested. Taking a left on Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg is going to take us around over to Landa Park. deer on this side of town so uh, you know if you're following along you're watching this whole video see how many deer you spot I guarantee we've already passed some so you got Memorial Field over here it's uh, in the Fredericksburg fields um, the baseball fields that are a city park This is Playground Drive. Sharon Luft. Playground Drive, as you can see, playgrounds for the kids over here on the right. It is a Tuesday afternoon at about 3.40, January 26th. Everybody's outdoors playing. It's nice and warm. I think it's about 75 degrees or so right now.
So you've got these gazebos throughout the park, covered areas, pavilions, that you can uh, rent and reserve from the city. Just contact the parks department. Again, I've got that walking tour that I did of Landa Park. So go in and search that as well. See a little bit more in-depth tour of the park. So up ahead is a mini golf little course that we've got here on the left hand side and uh, nobody had it right now but just on the other side of that that's the worst fest ground so the worst fest is a 10 day salute to sausage beer and polka music that's put on every year here in New Braunfels well except for 2020 thanks COVID um, it starts on the first Friday of November and goes on for 10 days intersection of Landa and Landa. It's right over here. Yeah, so left is the Worst Fest grounds. The right-hand side is the Columbus Hall. So Landa Street turns into North Seguin Avenue right about there and again we're entering into the downtown area. On the right hand side is a county tax office. On the left hand side is the Kamau County Courthouse. change of plans <laughs> don't don't really use the outside lane to go all the way through but uh, kind of changed my mind we're gonna go back down East San Antonio Street we're gonna go down Common Street real quick see what's on that side of town Again, you got the East San Antonio Bridge. East San Antonio Street isn't that long, maybe four, five, six blocks. And then it dead ends in the Union Avenue. On the left is Prince Psalms Park. On the other side of that is Hinman Island Park. Uh, I did a, another video on those, so go check that out. Yeah, so here we're turning on to South Union Avenue, and then we're going to take a ride on Common Street. The left is Pat's Place, some good just uh, down home cooking, really good place to go. So if you were to continue on Union Avenue, you would come to Chris Santa Rosa Hospital, 600 block of North Union, but we're gonna go down Common Street. 
So you gotta be careful on Common. It's 30 miles an hour from Union all the way to Common, or all the way to the Loop. And I will tell you the police department does run speed enforcement over here sometimes. I won't call it speed trap because they're not trapping anybody. You're the one speeding. But just to give you a heads up, if you're coming down Common Street, make sure you go to the speed limit. Over here is the Kamau County Fairgrounds. So normally we have the Kamau County Fair going on in September, not this year. Thank you, COVID. And on the right-hand side is the New Braunfels Public Library. If you're to take a right here between the cemeteries on Peace Avenue, you're going to find Cypress Bend Park. And this bridge right here is going to take us over the Guadalupe River. And on the right, you got River Acres Park that uh, on the banks of the Guadalupe. So we just jumped ahead and now we are on Green Road, which will take us, as you guessed it, to the store district of Green. G-R-U-E-N-E, -E, not like the color. So on the right hand side we got Fiddler's Green, which used to be Tavern on the Green, which is an event center. You also got the green homestead where you can rent out some of these uh, little homes. Here you've got on the right hand side, you know, you got pharmacies, business offices, doctor's offices, a chiropractor. ENT Center. Orthopedic Sports Medicine Institute. This is Green Lake Village. It's a bunch of little shops. 
uh, restaurants, little bars. We got a wine bar, got a martini bar. Uh, as soon as you come in on the left hand side is the green door. A uh, really good place to eat. My wife and I love going there. You got green teenies, you got a wine bar back there as well. So, green teenies does, uh, as you can guess it, martinis. Cora Cora Coffee, little boutiques and shops. Cigar shop over here for all you cigar aficionados. And that's it. I mean, it's a cool little place to come. You can park anywhere and just walk around. Uh, go to go to the green door to go get some dinner. Uh, afterwards, go get some drinks. It's a cool little neighborhood here off of Hans Drive. Some of them are garden homes, um, but almost all of them have very small lots. So, you know, if you don't want a yard to maintain, or maybe you're an empty nester, uh, you don't want to have to bother with all the, the yard maintenance, and this is a great place to look. Cute little houses too. Past Green Lake, still on Green Road. Heading into Green, which, as you guessed it, I've done a video on. There's a walking tour of Green that I did, so go and search for that. While you're at it, go ahead and give this video a like. And uh, whenever you watch the Green videos or any of the others, give those a like as well, please. pizza on the right hand side here is really good pizza all right so now we're entering into the historic green district lots of 
some little shops, boutiques, antique stores, bed and breakfast, restaurants. Uh, some of my favorites down here, I, well, there's really none of them that I don't like. I mean, you've got Green River Grill, uh, you have Grist Mill, which uh, wife and I just went to for her birthday the other day. Um, you've got Mosey's right here ahead of us. You've also got to the right over there down Hunter Road, we'll go down there in a bit. Uh, Adobe Verde, uh, Cantina Del Rio over here on the left. A couple of places to do wine tasting. You got winery on the green and you also have the grapevine. If you follow just Green Road around, it's gonna bring you down here and you're gonna cross the Guadalupe River. River Outfitters over here, Rock and R and Guadalupe, our Green River Company. Uh, so whenever uh, some, okay, so we've turned around. We're heading back into Green, going back over the Guadalupe River here on Green Road. famous green halls up here on the right hand side where all these planters are. Oldest dance hall in Texas. Well, the likes of George Strait, Willie Nelson, Garth Brooks have played. This is Hunter Road. You got the green general store over here on the right. Uh, here's a grapevine that I talked about so you can go in for some wine tastings, grab a bottle, come out here, sit outside drink your purchases There's more little shops over here on the left hand side is the green olive tasting room they've got tons of like uh, olive oils and balsamic vinaigrettes and all kinds of other stuff I love going over there just in there yesterday and then over here on the right hand side is Adobe Verde another restaurant and then on the right too, that's where they're going to have green market days. So they'll set up right there in front of Adobe Verde.
So this Creekside area is one of the newer shopping areas here in town, uh, one of the newer developments. Uh, when I moved out here in 2009, like none of this stuff over on the left-hand side was even here. HEB wasn't here, it just opened up a few years ago. Uh, it's an HEB Plus. Um, got a gas station uh, on top of groceries that sells some, uh, some regular goods as well. Get some like fishing equipment, you know, lawn chairs ice chest stuff like that got an in and out burger but they're garbage why would you go there when there's a water burger across the street kind of give you an idea so if you were to take a right you would go third south on 35 and then if you were to take a left you'd go north towards Austin on the right hand side is Bucky's world's largest convenience store which I've done a video on so go and like it and watch it they're doing construction over here right now kind of changing the traffic pattern a little bit hopefully they'll be done soon it's January and they've been doing it since uh, probably the well, at least summer But here's some of the Creekside shopping area. Got a Wing Daddy's, a diesel barbershop, Shogun, they've got a hibachi grill, and they also have some sushi. Creekside Cinema is over here on the right hand side. Uh, to the left, you got your Target. When I moved here, that was the new Target. We still had an old Target um, that was shut down, but you've also got Best Buy, K Jewelers. JC Penny. Raw stress for less, famous footwear. Got a pet smart over here, belt, hobby lobby. Dick Sporting Goods. down here at the end you're gonna have a number of apartment complexes so say you're wanting to uh, build a house and you're gonna do a custom build when you're ready just to get to Texas then this isn't a bad option to rent an apartment uh, the ones I'm gonna recommend and it's only because I'm biased it's because uh, you know, my wife may work there is the uh, landings at Creekside that are gonna be coming up here on the right hand side So yep, yeah, we've got a connection here at the landings if you're, if you're looking for a place uh, short term while we're building your custom home. So this is FM 1101, another one of those farm to market roads. Kind of starts over at uh, Highway 46 and then goes out towards Highway 123, uh, heading north. Right hand side is the uh, Fry High Country Store. So they've got some uh, like home cooking, plus uh, they're really known for their burgers. Burgers are really good. Got some uh, good outdoor seating options, playground for the kids. They've got live music every now and then.
so you've got Canyon Middle School over here and you also have up on the left Goodwin, Goodwin Fraser Elementary no 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 Fryhide Elementary I'm sorry Fryhide Elementary and on the left hand side you got August Fields I got some clients that bought a house over there nice Chesmore home hand side this is the back side to Canyon High School so this is where they have some of the ball fields football baseball swimming pools over here and then the campus is a little bit uh, on the other side you got a Ashley furniture distribution center right here on the right hand side So they're one of the one of the larger employers here, not the biggest, but not the smallest. And here on the right, this is also the back side of our Home Depot. We do have a Home Depot and a Lowe's. So coming up here, this is Highway 46 South. Uh, you'll hear 46 South and 46 West. This is 46 South. So this is Business 35, also known as Elliott Knox Boulevard. On the left is New Braunfels Smokehouse. Uh, somebody asked me about that. They actually shut down the restaurant. They still have the smokehouse going, but the, uh, the restaurant is shut down. Got a couple of hotels that back up to Business 35. Neighborhoods on the right-hand side. IHOP, Taco Cabana. On the right hand side is the Marketplace Shopping Center. So you've got an Alamo Draft House, a Chinese Buffet, you've also got Ernesto's Jewelry, uh, locally owned, family owned, uh, Gold's Gems over here, uh, La Cosecha. I've yet to try it, but I've been dying to. Um, it's supposed to be like more traditional Mexican food, but there's also like a Tuesday morning. There's a Synergenics uh, testosterone clinic over here that's brand new, and uh, some other shops just kind of uh, spread throughout here. Uh, Fork and Spoons, another restaurant that's in here that's really good. But we're on Business 35 North, and we're actually headed south. So this bridge up ahead uh, crosses the Guadalupe River. So if you go down river, it's gonna turn into Lake Dunlap. 
because it's dammed off. There's a dam over here on the right hand side and it's kind of dammed off down here to the left. Also on the right is the Faust Street Bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge. A lot of people like to go take either class photos, family photos, stuff like that over there. It's pretty picturesque. And approaching South Seguin Avenue again, which we've gone down a couple of times. But we're going to cross it. We've been down there enough. here on the right it's Adobe Cafe. Uh, that's probably my favorite Mexican food place here in town. Um, I just love their rice and beans. It's always great service. It's always great food. Good chips and salsa, good queso. Tapatio there on the left. Nope, that's on the Tapatio. Well, that used to be another restaurant. <laughs> Could have burned down. And Hacienda Tapatio. I don't know. Maybe still the same owners, but they've rebuilt. Alright, so this is South Business 35. Approaching. Continue on Business 35. There's the newest on the grind location on the left. Grind's got some great coffee, some blended drinks, energy drinks. On my uh, Christmas list was a list was a, a gift card to on the grind, and I got it thanks to my mother-in-law. We're going to take a left, but if you were to go right, uh, just one more block up, uh, we have the Jaws Skate Park, so a little skateboard park over there. Stays pretty busy.
right, so we're going to get just on I-35, Interstate 35 for a bit. Um, just kind of show you what traffic's like about 4.30 in the afternoon. On I-35, before we get on, on the right-hand side over here is Planet Fitness. You've also got Lowe's. Um, before we, or kind of after we get on there, Walnut Avenue is uh, Walmart. And on the other side of the highway is that other HEB. down there too is also uh, one of our two Chick-fil-A's. flowing pretty good here on I-35. Uh, it doesn't really tend to slow down just because of like natural slowdowns like you have maybe south of us in Selma. Uh, you will have a slowdown if there's an accident of course because uh, the police department, fire department will have to, to shut off a couple of lanes you know, to give those first responders a little bit of extra room for safety. But um, I mean honestly the traffic on 35 flows pretty good through here. New Braunfels, Texas. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're finding these uh, videos helpful. Also, smash that like button. And if you're thinking about moving to New Braunfels, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you're more comfortable with. All that contact information is in the description below. Until next time, y'all, take care. Bye-bye.